Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Save the World. We're gonna go over the first screen here, and then this is gonna lead to a lot of tutorial videos that I hope that will help you guys learn and grow and save the world as quickly as possible. For this game it can take a lot of time in learning all the different aspects to it, so real quick, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it, no hesitation. Uh, first tab here that you're gonna see on the top part here, you'll see quests. Now, my quest screen is going to look a lot different than the people that are just beginning or some of the people that are stuck in the earlier areas. I'm right now in one of the last areas of Save the World, so therefore that is why you do not see a current quest line for me. Um, actually, what you guys are probably seeing is something that looks a little bit more like a line of quests that will show individual missions and rewards as to what you are doing. Um, and I will switch over actually to a similar screen that you may see in doing some of that. This is where you're going to find all of your current quests, your main quests, your side quests, your daily quests, you just name it. All those quest logs are going to be right here. And to look into more some of those quests, you're going to press R3 to pull up the quest log, which you will see at the bottom of your screen here. And in doing so, we see all these quest logs, just like I was saying, you got your main quest, which in Twine, you kind of have just a bunch of random quests that are thrown at you. You have your weekly quests, which are now out. War game quests, which are now for this event. We have an event for the Beyond the Stellar Horizon, one of the newer events that have recently came out. We have an event war game boot camp to go ahead and complete. And then we also have below that some event repeatable quests. Now the repeatable quests are actually going to be quests that you can do over and over. And this is going to continuously give you the same rewards, so you'll continuously get the 100 fire up perk up, the 100 amp up perk up, the 100 frost up perk up. Um, all of these which you'll be doing as you go through Save the World and accumulating some of these perk up in order to uh, work on your perks, which we'll get into later. Then we have some of our side quests, which my only side quest here, um, as you can see, is going to be a storm shield defense. Again, we'll get into that later. And then your dailies, this is why everyone invests in Save the World, is for the V-Bucks, right? That's why we're all here. So your daily quest, you want to check this every time when you log in to Save the World, you want to see what new daily you're getting. And for here, as you can see, it is showing that I have the Husk Extermination by a Trap, in which that means that I have to eliminate 150 Husks with traps and successful missions to gain 50 V-Bucks and 240 gold. With that being the case, this is not just one mission, but this is just starting now and until I finish this mission, I will gain those rewards as soon as I kill 150 husks with traps that I set myself. Now this cannot be any other players setting traps, it does have to come from my personal traps that I do play, so, don't, so keep that in mind when you guys are building defenses. And then we have here challenges for your quests as well, which are some of the rewards for PlayStation, um, such as when you build 500,000 structures, you will get a banner, and not only that, but a trophy in, of the achievement in the PlayStation. Um, same thing for Guardian Angel, rescuing 10,000 survivors. Um, an explorer, a world explorer for exploring 1,500 zones, which a lot of this can be tedious and sounds like a lot, but over time it will start to accumulate and it'll become easier. And then once you do start to complete your missions, you will see these the completed main quests, which I do have a long extensive list of everything that I have completed with me being in Twine at this time. So with that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and press O to go ahead and jump back to where we originally were. And in this case, you will see in the bottom left corner, you have your event page, which they have now added in. You just press square to go to, which you'll see a big pop-up for your current event quest. And then you can press L2 and R2 to switch there between the different events. So the Tales of Beyond was the first event that came out with the Season 9 uh, Battle Royale. And then here they have now added... Uh, Beyond the Stellar Horizon, which has actually been part three of the event line since season nine has dropped, um, and War Games, some of the new added features uh, that have 
tacked on to add Save the World a little bit more fun. So with that being the case, we can get into all of that, but I want to go ahead and show you guys, I'm going to switch back here to Beyond the Stellar Horizon, to what you guys may be seeing for your quest line. So I'm going to go ahead and press square to go to my event page, and it's going to look like this, and this is probably what a lot of you guys are seeing for your quest line. It's going to look like a line with a bunch of bubbles here, and it's going to give you your current quest, and if I move over, it's going to give you your future quest, and if I go back, it's the quest that I've already completed. So in doing this, you'll see that I have to, I'll just read it off to you here, it's a table read, it says that time to see what our writers have come up with, and it's probably fine, so I'm gathering table parts. So as I'm out in my missions, I am gathering tables, or what they call table parts, by breaking tables, and it says that I had to collect 30 of them. So when I'm out in my missions, I not only want to be on the lookout for gathering my materials and all my different resources, but I'm also going to be looking for these specific mission lines, quests, events, uh, things that I need to complete each of these, and in this case it would be the tables. So I'm so close to finishing that and moving on. As you can see here, for Beyond the Stellar Horizon, I am on quest page 3 out of 5. So I'm halfway there to finishing it, but I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a glimpse of this page so you guys could see what you guys may actually be looking at, starting from a newer perspective as opposed to being in a high level, such as when I switch back to the main quest here, all you're seeing is just a blank screen that's just going to give me do this quest and these are your rewards that you'll be getting. Now in the bottom right you're actually going to see the news and this is going to show you everything that is currently coming out and updated with Save the World. This pertains particularly only to Save the World so if you're looking for Battle Royale stuff you need to go over and switch to Battle Royale and pull up the news portion over on that part. And in this, the cool part about it is that you can look at the updated notes by pressing square there, and you can check all of the new releases, the nerfs, the buffs, the guns, the modes, the events, everything that is coming out with every drop. So be sure to stay up to date on that. Go ahead and back out here. And then quickly, I will run across the top because a lot of these numbers can get confusing. We'll start with the bottom, or sorry, the top left there. That is what a lot of people refer to as your power level. So when people are asking you what is your power level, it's going to be a question that you're getting quite a lot. And it may be confusing because you see a lot of different numbers that are thrown up here at you. That is your power level in the top left. I'm a power level 125. And that gauge underneath it shows how far I still have to go by the blackened area to get to 126. And then right of that you're going to see that is my current emblem and that I am the party leader of my own party right now with three spots to fill so I can run with the full squad of four and save the world. To the right of that, obviously you're going to see this similar to what Battle Royale is with your party, how many friends you have online playing, epic friends that are currently on, so be sure to hook up with them get them in a party and run together it makes the game so much better when you can chit chat and get some of your missions done at the same time. Moving over to the right, you'll see that I actually have that Fortnite shield and then I have two power boosts it kind of looks like with the green arrow and the blue arrow. That would just be because I am a Fortnite member. Um, I have actually have upgraded my package so I went ahead and got that. And then the boosts are just saying that I currently have a boost on my account, which we'll get into later. Don't worry about it. I will come back and talk to you about it. But then we're going to move to the right of that, and it shows that I am level 310. Now when people ask you what is your power level or what level are you, please do not tell them I am level 310, because that doesn't make sense to anybody. What that really means is kind of like a daily count. Um, it's like um, how many missions you've completed, the difficulty, how fast you've excelled through your missions, um, but it maxes out at 310. So when you hear people are at 310 now, with their own account level, the account level will tell you pretty much how long they've been playing and the amount of, of knowledge that they've probably accumulated up to this point. 310 is the max so far until we are 
hopefully Fortnite puts in another area and starts to expand some of the game. So right now, that is what you're seeing as the max, 310 account level. And then you'll see your V-Bucks counter off to the right from there. And then you'll see the options menu if you do press the options button to bring down a list here. And I can briefly show you that, which you will see a lot more controls, giving feedback, your parental controls, reporting a player if needed. And then you can set your privacy between public and private. Public, you always want to run because we run a matchmaking server in Saver World. Now, if you want to do these missions by yourself, I don't recommend it. Much fun to run with other people and get the help from others to build and protect all these different things that you're going to experience in Save the World. But some people prefer to run missions private. That's okay, run it by yourself. I can get it. Next you're gonna have boost, daily rewards, help, and then select your game mode which will allow you to switch over to Battle Royale as soon as you get tired of Save the World. And then when you get tired of Battle Royale, you select select game mode and you come right back to save the world, keep grinding it out. So I hope this has been helpful. If you guys have any questions, you guys just let me know. Please give me a like, subscribe, comment. Hopefully I'll be running with you.